Well, hello again, everybody. It's Laura here from the Visitor Centre. Um, and I've taken my lunch break up here to Observatory Hill to have a look at the bridge. Um, I've seen a lot of people jogging and cycling, quite a lot of people out for walks. The Observatory Cafe is open and serving drinks and snacks. And I've also spotted an ice cream van doing the rounds. So it's quite a nice place to come out to if you need to get out of the house for a bit. So let's talk today about the difference between the two towers of the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Over here, we see the Clifton Tower, the one closest to us. And over on the far side, sitting on top of that big abutment structure, is the Lee Woods Tower. Now many people don't realise that there are three differences between the two towers. So I'm just going to give you a second here to have a look and see if you can spot any of those. And then I'll start going through them with you. Anyone noticed anything yet? Okay, so the biggest and most obvious dif difference is in the arches of the two towers. If we have a look here at the archway in the Clifton Tower, you'll see that that's very rounded. And if we skim over here to the Lee Woods side and I zoom in a little bit, the quality is going to go quite bad, I'm afraid. But you'll see that the arch on this tower is much more pointy. And the second difference is in the sides of the towers. Clifton's got these uh, windows in the side, whereas the Leewoods Tower is actually completely solid. It doesn't have those at all. And the third and most difficult difference to spot is in the actual footprint of the towers. If you have a look at the Clifton Tower here, you'll see that the base of that is actually rectangular. So the corners of the towers are at 90 degrees. And if we go over to Lee Woods, the tower over here is an octagonal shape. It has chamfered <laughs> corners. And that's because by removing that excess weight, it reduces the load on top of the hollows in the vaulted chamber underneath. So I hope you've learned something today and if you do want to come out and enjoy the fresh air, remember to practice your social distancing and always wash your hands. Thanks everybody, see you soon.